An Indiana state trooper will not face any charges after he shot and killed a man who was repairing his daughter's car on the side of a road. The Montgomery County prosecutor said there wasn't enough proof that the trooper committed a crime. News 8's Eric Feldman joins us with more details on this case. Yeah, so it was a two-page release today from the prosecutor's office in a case that has gripped Montgomery County for a couple months now. Trooper Daniel Oregon shot and killed Glenn Reitzel back on December 28th, and today we talked with one of Reitzel's stepdaughters about today's decision. Caught on camera the moments after Glenn Reitzel was shot by a state trooper, the 56-year-old's death brought friends together demanding answers. And Wednesday, the Montgomery County Prosecutor Joe Buser announced the trooper, Daniel Organ, would face no charges. We're extremely angry at the prosecutor's decision. That's Reitzel's stepdaughter, Crystal Morris, reacting hours after the prosecutor released this decision Wednesday. As News 8 has reported, Reitzel was fixing his daughter's car when Trooper Organ showed up. Organ had tagged the car on US 231 in Montgomery County hours before. He came back to find someone working on the car. Unaware of who it was, investigators say Oregon ID'd himself as a state trooper and saw through the hood of the car that man, Reitzel, with a pistol. Oregon says he told investigators that he said to Reitzel not to reach for his gun, but Oregon says when Reitzel did, that's when he shot him. Now, Glenn didn't do anything wrong, and now we have what he said at the hospital. We have Glenn's side. Moore shared that with us. He said he didn't know why Oregon started shooting. The nurses asked him, and he said he he didn't know. He didn't do anything wrong. The cop just came up and started shooting him. Prosecutor Buser says Oregon's story matches a computer reconstruction of what he could see at the time and that there was enough proof Oregon believed Reitzel was drawing his gun. But questions remain. The prosecutor says Glenn Reitzel called the county dispatch to tell them he was going to be repairing that car. Buser says the county dispatch told state police dispatch, but no one told the troopers working in that area including Daniel Organ. Maybe they can look into communicating a little bit better. I mean, it cost someone's life. Had Organ known, would things have been different? So we asked state police about that question, but they would not comment on why troopers did not get Reisel's message. We did reach out to them tonight, as I mentioned, and they did say trooper Daniel Organ will be on his normal patrols in the Lafayette district. Any legal action by the family here? Well, right now we don't know, but we did speak with an attorney representing the family, and they told News 8 that they are requesting evidence from the prosecutor's office and a decision on whether a civil lawsuit will be made shortly. All right, Eric. Thank you.